In this video, I'm gonna give you a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to create worship lyric slides in ProPresenter. Whether you're new to ProPresenter or you're wanting to update your workflow, watch this video to the end because I'm gonna show you exactly how to create lyric slides that look great and they make it easy for your congregation to sing along and worship. This video is brought to you by Lead Worship with Ableton, a free training to help you get started with the number one worship leading software. With Ableton Live, you can run a click, backing tracks, and automate lyrics and lighting. It's the best tool for increasing excellence and eliminating distracting mistakes in worship. Click the link in the description to enroll in the free training today. My name is Jake Goslin with churchfront.com, an online resource for innovative and creative church leaders. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you can receive all of our latest content to help you grow yourself and and grow your church. Be sure to check out the links in the show notes of this video for some free resources and tools for your worship ministry. I am incredibly picky about the way worship lyric slides are displayed in worship because they make a significant impact on how easy it is for the congregation to sing along and participate in worship. At my church, we use ProPresenter for all of our lyrics and videos that we display on our screens. ProPresenter is built for both Mac and PC, although it runs better on a Mac. If you're wanting to learn how to use ProPresenter but you don't want to buy the software yet, then you you can just download the demo version from the Renewed Vision website linked below this video. So what I'm gonna do now is hop behind my computer and I'm gonna walk you through click by click, step by step, how to build a worship lyrics document in ProPresenter. Before we import our first song into ProPresenter, there's two important things that need to be done. The first thing is to link ProPresenter to ccli.com. So hopefully your church has a CCLI account which licenses the displaying of lyrics on a Sunday morning in your church. In ProPresenter, it makes it really easy if you go to Preferences you can link to your CCLI account. So go to Preferences, go to the Services tab, and then underneath you'll see Song Select, and you want to log into your CCLI Song Select account right here. And when you link ProPresenter to CCLI, it gives you the ability to search for new songs right here. So let's say I want to search for the song This I Believe. It is going to show up underneath this song select section here in the library and it's ready to be imported. The other thing though I want to do before I import a song is I want to create a lyric slide template for my songs in ProPresenter. Because when you go to import the song, you can automatically have it import to that particular template and that particular look. So to do that, you go to the template section up here. I already created a template, but I'll show you how I did this. So go to new template group and then I'll just do test template. So I'm going to create a template group and then within a group you can create different looks. So here's a plain slide with a black background. I could alter all the formatting for it. Um, but what I want to do is just add a text box and I want to just add two lines of text. I like the template of having two lines of lyrics per slide. So I'm going to um, write this is a line of text this is another line of text. So I just have these placeholder uh, lyrics right here. And then I want to format this to the, the look that I want. I like using Montserrat. I'll include a link to this font in the description of this video so you can download that. I also like to go all caps. And then I also like to make this bigger. So maybe like 50 or so, 50 to 60. It kind of depends on just how large it needs to be for it to be visible in your church. And I also want to change it to bold. Another thing that I find helpful is adding a small black outline to the font. So I'll just do that. I feel like it helps the text just pop really well. And then I want to adjust my alignment. And at our church, we like to project the lyrics on the top of the screen because we have a wide screen right behind us and you wouldn't be able to see the text very well over the band members if it was in the middle of the screen. So I'm just going to adjust alignment up to the top like that. And I think I'm going to make the font a little bit bigger still. And I can adjust this text box so I can adjust how wide I want the font to go onto the slide here. So I'll make it pretty wide and I'll put it closer to the top. And that is the format of our lyrics for this template. 
and I'm pretty happy with this format for this lyrics template. So I'm going to go ahead and just exit out of the template editor. And now I'll see that under templates, I have my test template group and I have template number one. So now I'm ready to go ahead and start importing the lyrics into my ProPresenter library. So I'm going to search this I believe. It shows up in song select and then I'm going to press the plus button here to add the document to the library. And then I'm going to make sure that the settings are the way I want them. I want the slides delimited by line break, not paragraph break. And then I'm going to put two delimiters per slide. So that means every two lines, it's going to create a new slide. And then I'm also going to select the template that I just created. So it formats it properly. And then I press import. And there we have it. Another way you could do this if you don't have song select is just to go to Google, search the lyrics, and then simply select all the lyrics of the song, press Command C to copy them, and then you can go File, Import, Text from Clipboard, and then that's going to allow you to import the lyrics the same way you did from CCLI, but it's just using your clipboard. But you'll see that this is kind of a bare bones document that it just imported from your clipboard. The CCLI song select feature really saves you time because it even groups the slides into the proper song sections. As you can see, the blue here, this is verse one, the red is chorus one, and so on. Now that the song is in the ProPresenter library, there's a bit more formatting that needs to be done. So I'm going to go ahead and open the slide editor. And I first want to add a title slide. So I'm just going to click down here to the last slide. I'll press the plus button so we have a blank slide at the end. Then I'm going to right click. I'm going to change uh, this group for this slide to intro. And I'm going to go ahead and drag it up to the top. And then I also like to put in the title of the song. So this, I believe the creed. And now we have our title slide for the beginning of the song. Next, I want to go through and check the way that these lyrics were divided onto the slides and make sure that it makes sense for singing the song. You just want to be careful that you're not breaking up lines that should be together on the, sli the same slide. So this is kind of a bit of an art going through and doing this, but you'll see what I mean. So our Father everlasting, the all-creating one, God Almighty. So what I would do is I would want God Almighty on its own line because through your Holy Spirit, that's kind of the the next phrase that's coming up. So I'm going to press option return. It's going to put through your Holy Spirit on a new slide down here. And then I think I'm going to I'm going to match this up with the first part of that verse. I'm going to take out conceiving Christ the Son. I'm going to put that with through your Holy Spirit. And then Jesus, our Savior. So now it reads, Our Father everlasting, the all-creating one, God Almighty, through your Holy Spirit, conceiving Christ, the Son, Jesus, our Savior. So sometimes when it makes sense just lyrically, it's okay to have one line of text on a slide. Now let's look at the chorus. I believe in God, our Father. I believe in Christ, the Son. I believe in the Holy Spirit. Our God is three in one. That makes sense, the way that's divided up. I believe in the resurrection, that we will rise again. For I believe in the name of Jesus. So I didn't have to change the chorus. That's good to go. Our judge and our defender, suffered and crucified forgiveness is in you so this is the same thing as the first one so i'm going to go ahead and paste um, descended into darkness and then i'm put forever seated high on its own line so that looks good and then the bridge i believe in you i believe you rose again i think these should all be on their own line it, mainly because there's a lot of space in between each of these lines when you sing them so it's really important again to think about musically how this song is sung and then the last chorus i believe in life eternal i believe in the virgin birth i believe in the saints communion and your holy church i believe in the resurrection just i believe in the name of jesus so i'm happy with that chorus two looks good all the lines of text are grouped properly on these different slides it's going to be easy for the congregation to follow along at this point since i automate my lyric slides with ableton live and i don't have someone actually manually going through and you know pressing the next arrow or jumping around to find the right slide with their mouse I'm actually done. This is this is where I would stop for my weekly 
prep. But if you do not automate your lyric slides with Ableton Live, I would recommend creating an arrangement of this for manual operation. So ProPresenter is a cool feature here. Click this button, and then I would go add new arrangement, and I would just call this manual operation or whatever you would want to call it. Maybe it's, it probably could be your master arrangement if you don't automate slides because you need it to be like this all the time. So I would go through and then I would just arrange the song the way that it's sung. So we have intro, verse, chorus, verse two, um, and then chorus again, you know, bridge, um, and then we have chorus two and then chorus one. Um, I can't remember the exact order of the song off the top of my head, but now you'll see that pro presenter builds out the proper arrangement so that the person running your slides, all they have to do is just press the right arrow on the keyboard and they'll just be able to keep going. Another thing you might want to do too if you are not automating your slides is add just a blank slide. Um, I like to do this if we're doing it manually. So I'll just go in here and just write tag or something like that just to create a blank slide um, because sometimes you don't need lyrics sh showing on the screen if there's like a long instrumental or something like that. So I could go ahead and just drag this tag in between chorus one and verse two and I'll have that blank slide here. When I automate ProPresenter with Ableton, I can simply just put a clear slide cue. It'll automatically hit this cue right here and that'll clear off the slide for us. And that concludes this brief tutorial on how to create song lyrics in ProPresenter. Well, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and it helps you create better lyric slides for your congregation to sing along at your church. Make sure you let me know if you have any questions below in the comments. Check out the show notes for my free lead worship with Ableton training. It's going to help you get started with the number one worship leading software. And with Ableton Live, you can automate ProPresenter. As I already mentioned, it's the coolest thing in the world. You always always have perfect lyric cues 100% of the time. If you found this video helpful, hit that thumbs up button, share it with your friends in ministry, check out some related videos right over here, and don't forget to subscribe to the Church Front channel so you can continue to receive all of our latest content to help you grow yourself and grow your church.